in high definition. This is KCAL 9 News at noon. Make his day. Yep, it is funny I should say that. But first, regrow, Harry, the privacy of your own home. Find out if this breakthrough laser can work for you. We're going to put it to the test. Hmm. Well, hair loss isn't just a problem for men. In fact, 40% of middle-aged women suffer from hair loss. Now, KCAL 9's Sabila Vargas shows us how a helmet made right here in the Southland is helping some of them regrow their hair. I never thought I would ever have to address something like that. Busy mom and executive Shirley Peltier of Laguna Niguel has been battling a problem for the past three years. I was um, getting thinning hair on the right side of my head and I thought I don't want to do supplementations or Rogaine. I mean who has time for that? Like Shirley, 58 year old Shelly Sasaki, a teacher in Anaheim, was also pulling her hair out with concern. When I turned 50, I noticed a lot more hair shedding. Shelly took matters into her own hands or head and purchased a modern device that helps grow back hair, all in the convenience of her home. I only wear it on my head for 20 minutes twice a week. It's called iGrow, a new state of the art device made right here in the Southland that uses lower level light therapy to penetrate hair follicles. For nearly $700 and about 20 minutes two to three times a week, iGrow claims to grow back mild to moderate hair loss as seen in these female users before and after pictures. My hair was definitely a lot thinner, sparser than it is now. Light as a bike helmet and heavy on the LED, iGrow creators say that these low-level lasers cover the entire scalp, and with regular use, you could start seeing results within three months. While some say this could be a new development for females fighting hair loss, medical experts say it's more about age than genes when it comes to women losing hair. 50% by age 50 of women have some form of hair loss. Dermatologist Dr. Lori Klein of the Dermatology and Laser Center says hair loss among women is a common problem and many might not be aware of it. The reason we think of hair loss as a male issue is because men can go bald completely. Most women don't go completely bald. They thin. While genetics could play a part in female hair loss, Dr. Klein says hormones are the real culprit. The cause of hair loss in women is often thyroid issues. It may be that they had a child and after major stress or major surgery, usually it's a life stress, not just chronic stress. We also have a problem with women on birth control pills sometimes losing hair and of course around menopause. But for busy females like Shelly and Shirley, the physical aspect of losing hair can be just as emotional. My hair is a very important part. When you look good and you feel good, it's, it's everything. Sabila Vargas, KCAL 9 News. And for more information on the iGrow device, just go to kcal9.com and click on Scene on TV.